Yo, what is up people? It is your boy Sneebles right here. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day once again today. I have to be honest though, you know, I've been doing that intro for so long. Should I change it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Just literally go ahead, introduce myself, bam. I mean, is that what most YouTubers do? I don't know. Either way. Um, yeah. <laughs> Back on to uh, talking about the FIFA 21, of course. MKDON's career mode, always say, that's who we are, of course. Um, always thinking about changing it. I've always said I'd like to go to another team. Uh, obviously, FIFA 22 will be out in a couple months' time. Um, so I might, maybe, I don't know, whether it be this season, I don't know, I might do one more season with Dons, maybe, and then maybe go to another team, just just for a couple of seasons, or one season, whatever, and uh, just go ahead with that, and, you know, whatever, it'd be just nice to just go to another team, I've never done it before, um, not that anything really probably happens, it's just go to another club and that's it, you know what I mean, so, um, but I've always talked about Real Madrid, I've always talked about going to Madrid, I don't know why, just something about Madrid would be nice to maybe just take over them, and uh, just going on with that, so yeah. But I don't know. I don't know whether I do. I don't know. I always like to stick to one team most of the time, but it'd be nice to just make it realistic. You know, sort of move on. You know what I mean? So um, after winning everything, of course, here with the Don. So that's if I win the Premier League this season. That's if I do. Uh, um, but yeah. So obviously on the roll uh, to doing that though. So that's the good thing as well. Um, of course, Southampton is our first game in this video um, at home. I like to say it's going to be easy. I mean, it should really be easy. Uh, and then we've got a week break, about that, just over, just over a week, uh, with then Brentford the following game in the Premier League again, so them two Premier League games there. And then we've got AC Milan in the next round of the Champions League, so the knockout stages now. Um, so yeah, away uh, in the first leg against them. Uh, so I have to rest play against Brentford, which is fine. Team like Brentford, I don't mind that. Um, and then we've got Tottenham to finish off the video at home in the league to take three points off of, hopefully, as well. So we've doing, been doing brilliant. Um, as you've probably seen, you know, goals galore, uh, as well as just, just finishing games, you know, we're not conceding so much as you see here, we conceded a goal in every game there except two games, we only conceded one goal, so one, two, three, yeah, four goals, uh, wait, yeah, four goals, yeah, four goals, that's it, conceded in, in all that, in all that month, brilliant, honestly, it's brilliant, defending has been so much, you know, much more better and improved, attacking has been brilliant, of course, and we've just been dominating, simple as that, um, I just think I've been concentrating a bit more, I guess, I don't know. Um, but we've just been doing better, simple as that, so yeah, um, but yeah, the results also in the last video, um, as you see, of course there, um, obviously we had a two week break, so it's been an international break I guess, with now Southampton, then literally another week off, crazy, um, but yeah, so we beat Arsenal 2-1, beat uh, Peterborough 5-1 in the cup of course, um, and then we beat uh, Sheffield United 2-1, and we beat West Ham 4-0, that was one in the last video, yeah. It's technically easy stuff, we just literally just swept them away. Except Sheffield United and Arsenal gave us a bit of a scare. Of course, only beaten by a goal, uh, a goal margin, let's put it that way. Um, but other than that, it's been doing brilliant. Simple as that, there's not much else going to do and say on that. You know, we're getting the wins, that's all that matters, really. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead with it. First game, Southampton at home. Why not? You know, I can't see why we can't get three points in. But hey, as I always say, see what we can do. One Doku. That's it. See Adiyemi making his run there. Still not 1 0. Adams, yes! Wow. Taking his time to get that first goal. You know, 17 minutes gone. It's not a lot of time, but you know, you can tell there. The first chance we had, Adiyemi should be putting that in. It's a good save, I guess, what I can say on that. And then great shot from Adams from outside the box on his left foot into the corner. 1 0. That's it. On. And he was at the back post. 2 0. Gets in there. Good stuff there down that left side. And Ansu Fati gets the assist as he puts um, Adiyem straight in. And there you go. 2 0. And uh, yeah, nothing, nothing else I can say. Brilliant stuff really from the boys. That's it. Fatty's in again. He's got Bellingham at the back. And it's 3 0. Brilliant stuff. Fatty's second, um, second assist of the game. And uh, it's a great ball to the back post again. Bellingham this time is at the back. Could say we were lucky to get onto the ball there, but you know we've reached it. And there you go, left foot, um, just sort of, sort of touched it, didn't he? And sort of bent, um, bounced down on the ground, as you see there, and then just bounced into the, into the corner. Freedom. Look at that. Southampton split open there, and I see Eddie Yemi coming to the back. 4-0, thrashed him, putting Southampton to bed. It's what I expect to see, not before half time, but you know, it is what I expect to see. We're running away at the moment, good performances lately. And there you go, 4-0, it's Adi Yemi again. 
technique. He's got the full package. Four one. I can see that sort of going in. It's it's the typical computer move. I've always said it, where they just play it around. If you know what I mean. So when they got the ball, as you see here, like the way he played it, he just plays it like that. Look, and it's just made a little run onto it. That's how they get it all the time. Right, Bellingham makes it five one. It's a good run. You see that run there? And there you go. It's just completely game over. Have to destroy him. Oh, come on. 5 2. It's the first time I've conceded two goals for a while in a match. But being honest, look at these goals. Just look at these goals. This is what I'm saying. I'm just, just saying, okay? I'm not. Moaning. But look, it's just literally kicked it right up in the air. How they've won that ball is, is beyond me. Like Saliba and Promel, two decent centre backs. Also, Promel's a made up uh, defender, as far as I know. But he's awesome, right? I've shown you his stats before. If you haven't seen him, obviously he's on one of the previous videos. And Saliba, he's decent. He actually becomes a decent player on this game. Two players against one. Absolutely makes no sense at all. Wow. <laughs> Six two. Again, you can see how shot down I was just like, okay. I had support, didn't really know how to play it to. Thought I'd just go along with it and then gone to the sort of mood to the right side of the pitch sort of thing and then just Hit on his weak foot into the corner. Look, you can see, yeah, I've just stood there. And then just gone. And I thought, you know, I'm hitting here. Great goal. 6-2. Okay. 6-2 victory. Easy three points in the bag. That's what I expect. I mean, they pulled two goals back, but... It just shows you still how this difficult it can still be tough. But you just have to concentrate, I guess. And But the goals, you know, especially the second one. Two defenders there, man. How I didn't get that ball, I don't know. There you go. It's three points anyways, and that's all that matters. So... Okay, so our next game is Brentford at, um, at their place, uh, sitting 19th, just like Leicester were when we played them. Um, so they were 19th when we last played Leicester. 68 points on the table, absolutely smashing it. Goals were as well. 22 wins, 2 draws, 2 defeats. Much better season so far. And, um, excuse me, it looks like it's going to be a very good, strong push and finish at the end. We're still 4 points ahead of Chelsea, which is decent. Obviously, they play one game more, so... Um, Chelsea must have drew in their last game, did they? Yeah, they did. Drew 1-1 with West Ham. Okay, Liverpool beat Arsenal 2-1, so keeps them in contention. Um, but yeah, so and obviously Leicester won there. So Leicester, they are now 16th. Right, they pushed themselves out of the bottom three. That's decent for them. Um, it looks like Everton are going to get ready to get this row. Um, but yeah, so 68 points on the table. Brentford Nets, who sit 19th, this should be three points in the bag. But yeah, you never know. Um, obviously a weaker side in this game there will be as we have Ace Milan only about two or three days later. So you know what I like to do, be realistic, swap players around, give our players games and that. So yeah, on to this game. Brentford it is. Let's see what we can do. That's it, Conor Villalba. Make that run. Go on. Oh my. Oh, Jesus. It's 1-0. We probably don't deserve it, to be honest. It's taken us 40 minutes to get that first goal. It's a very weak side compared to um, what we usually play, but wow, it's taken us a while, and that was a scruffy goal. But Alvin makes a great run. Probably should be finishing this, but got lucky there as Formiliano finishes the rebound just. That's it. Good stuff. Come on, Villalba. Ah, 2 0. Villalba could have made it 1 0 uh, with the first chance uh, when we got our first goal, but. Somehow fluffed it, I don't know how it happened, but gets the second goal. That's all that matters, and it's a good play here between the, the, the striker for Miliano and then Vilaba getting the finish 2 0. Great run from Ansu Faye, it's not offside, is it? No, it's not. Let's get an easy goal there. Goddard makes it 3 0 to finish off the game, should be a clean sheet. And there you go. Game should be definitely over with that. I thought it was going to be offside, but you know, it wasn't. And then um, there you go. So, good stuff. There you go. Nice, comfortable, clean sheet there. Comfortable three points in the bag. And uh, yeah, it's what I expect, really. It was a definite weak side. And you know what? We had a bit of scare. We did at the start of the game. Um, probably could have went one, if not two nil down, to be, to be really honest with you. We could have. Um, but you know, we've done well. And um, yeah, just 
just playing a football, simple as that. I mean, after we had those few scares, I sort of picked it back up where I started passing it around more and, you know, had to work it. Even with the weaker sort of players I had, you know, I had to do what I could do with them. So, um, but yeah, you know, and then there you go, finished the game. 3-0 in the end. All good. Okay, so after that, good 3-0 win over Brentford, like I said. Um, we've got AC Milan in the Champions League, so back in action there uh, with the Champions League. So, yeah, it's got to be a tough game. Um, never... Did I play him last year? I don't know. I don't think I did, but, um, but you know, AC Milan, you know, we should know that they're still going to be a tough team. Uh, obviously, strength, full strength squad out there. Uh, maybe a couple of changes, who knows. Um, but yeah, so away to Milan. Let's see what we can do. Come on, Pavlovic. Bellingham, Adiyemi, that's, that's onside. I think that's actually onside, it is. 1 0 to the Dons. It's a great goal from Adiyemi to get us off and going. Um, hasn't been easy in the first 10 minutes to be really honest with you. Um, they've had a lot of ball in Milan in our area. They haven't been able to do anything because we've defended well. And we get that ball through. Um, it's a great ball through from Bellingham. Quick pass as well. Quick reactions. And then look at that. Only pressed A as well. Went through. There you go. 1 0. Come on. Oh my. Really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> They generally should be scoring that. To be really honest, they shouldn't be scoring that. There's only one reason for that is how. You know, literally, I've just pushed them back. They've gone back and back and back. And then all of a sudden, so, just somehow it's gone through. I mean, look, it's just how. All right, I get this space there, but my defender's got to be there. Adam should be doing better. Um, Providale, my goalkeeper, should be doing much better than that. I'm actually shocked. Really am. But, you know, it is what it is. 1-1. Gone. Oh, what a goal! My centre back has absolutely thrashed that in. My centre back. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That is an incredible finish from a centre back. It looked like no one was on him in the end either. As you see here, I'm actually watching him. Look, I thought he just managed to get in front of his defender. Wow, great volley from Pormel. 2-1, and what a goal from a centre-back. Get in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One of thought, how'd you get through that when I tackled the ball? I thought it was perfect. Hits the pose, and then all of a sudden, the rest called it back to a penalty. That's in, how? How is that a penalty? That's not a penalty. That's not a penalty. That is not a penalty. <laughs> I just don't know. Yes, come on. That's what I deserve. No penalty at all. What the hell? Side. It is. Get it rolling down. Adiyemi. 3-1. I had a feeling that was going to be offside. Just a tiny bit of a feeling. But luckily it wasn't. 3-1. Good goal. It's a good goal, but you know what? I was trying to get to him. And I was thinking, why is my centre-back you know? Moving backwards. What I, on serious note, what am I sending back to do it? Seriously, this is actually awful defending from computer. I can't control everyone. I always say I know. But look, I just backed off from him. Like, what can I do? It's a great finish, but it shouldn't be. So three two anyway. It's a three two, three two win. Um, it's all it matters, I guess. Um, poor goals, you can see. We take the win, take the away goals. That's all we've got to do. Just move on to the next game at home. Hopefully we can uh, still obviously get past them. So uh, other than that, it's still a good game. Still got the goals, like I said. Still got a win. But, um, yeah, had a lot of attempts. You see that eight attempts from Adeyemi, only two goals. Just couldn't really get many, many passes. Donna Rumor, as you know, solid keeper. But yeah, three two. And there you go. Okay, so last game of this video, we have Tottenham um, at home. You know, last time of course we beat him. Uh, I think we thrashed him, didn't we? Um, but you know, it's a chance obviously taking over three points from a uh, team like obviously Spurs. You want to take three points all the time, so I don't care if we win 6 0, it's not realistic. I don't give a shit because it's Tottenham, so I'll always want to beat them as much as we can. Um, but yeah, strong side out there again, hopefully. Let's go do this, let's end the video on a good note, and let's take the three points from Tottenham. Oh, what a ball! Adiyemi! 1-0, I nearly dropped my, well, not dropped, but nearly put my controller down, or at least to the side, whatever. So I thought, you know what, we scored this. 
Nope. <laughs> Eddie Emu should probably be scoring that. I mean, it's a great save, I guess. Um, did he save it or did it post? I think he saved it, didn't he? <laughs> I don't know, but Fatty with the rebound, simple as that. Um, great delivery in and great header. Yeah, to keep it well, saved it off onto the post. Crazy, great, great save. Um, just a shame it has to come off the post for them. Okay, rebound and Fatty scores. Oh, 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 and he even 2 0. Wow, Tottenham just literally effed up at the bat there. Literally effed up. I don't know what I was saying that, but I mean, it's kind of weird. <clears throat> be real honest, it went through nearly to Fatty there, it was a great ball through and then they just tried to get out quick and then any of his shots gone under the keeper, the keeper's got to be doing better than that, but it's a great hit, under the keeper, through the legs, 2-0, that's it, gets it in there, Bellingham, 3-0 just on the half hour mark and we're literally putting Tottenham to bed, what a ball in for Jude Bellingham to nod that in. What can I say? 3 0. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I, I get the ball out and then it just it's random how that's literally falling. Look, watch. How? Like, I'm trying to get out and then that's a fake. What the? I've just literally seen a replay there. What just happened? Which I'm not going to show there, but some like weird flick. I literally saw it there at that last minute, but I mean, it's a decent finish, but it shouldn't be at all. What a ball! Oh my! Nice finish as well. What a ball! What a ball from Jeremy Doku, and that is absolutely fantastic. And honestly, what a delivery on the floor, obviously. Sometimes it looks straightforward, but that ain't straightforward at all. That's a great ball, straight through. Look at that, behind the defence. What a ball, and then control, and it, you know he's going to finish that, 4-1 man. There you go, you see the run there, Bellingham makes it 5-1, get in there my son, yeah, 5-1 it is, gets in there, big three points, 5-1 victory, shame about the call from season, it really is a shame, but yeah, 5-1 over a big team, but, <laughs> I like to say they're not, but you know, that's just me. Um, but yeah, 5-1 anyways, and uh, it's a big three points anyway. Okay, so that'll be the end of that video there. Hope you guys, of course, enjoyed as always. Um, also, just to look at the table, just to finish off by looking at this. Uh, 74 points on the table now, 9 points clear um, of Liverpool, and obviously 10 clear of Chelsea. So, yeah, we've got a good gap here. We've got literally three wing gap. Like, we've got to take advantage of this. Um, playing some fantastic football, beating you know, relevant teams. So... Tottenham, for example, who are still in the mix, in their top five, so it's good to give them their seventh defeat of the season. So, um, and as I remember, we drew with them last time. I thought we beat them, but we actually drew with them. Uh, second game of the season, weren't it? So, um, but yeah, so you know, this time we get all three points from them. So I'm happy at that. Um, and yeah, so yeah, at the top, like I said, 24 wins, all good. Um, Everton, Brentford, Leicester, still at the bottom. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. On to the next video. The next video will have Leeds United in the FA Cup. Obviously, I'll probably mention this again as I come into that video. But we've got Leeds, then we've got Fulham away, and then Liverpool at home, as well as Ace Milan on the return fixture, return leg uh, of the Champions League. So they should be the four games, um, unless I go through against Leeds, which I should. But hey, this time last year, um, on the last season, I think I went out to Reading, didn't I? Or was it Reading? Something like that. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Hopefully do better, like literally, hopefully we can do uh, better than that one. So yeah, hope you guys of course, like I said, as always, enjoyed, leave a like, as always, and subscribe, much appreciate. Thank you guys for the support, and I'll see you guys in that next video. Take care, and peace.